In this video, I will put together my little Venetian Redox Flow battery. So, if you remember, some time ago I started with this Venetian Redox Flow battery project where I already make some parts for the battery. For example, here I have these electrolyte tanks, here I have uh, that's all and so on But today in this video like I said I will put together the entire battery and in the end I will see what I will get but uh, To this battery I will make some small changes uh, So this electrolyte tank is okay uh, I will also use these peristaltic pumps uh, the only thing that I will change will be the cell itself because I already redesigned the cell uh, because the new version of the cell will be a little bit more smaller and this is because in this smaller cell I will be able to use this ion exchange membrane and yeah so this is the only reason that I will switch uh, to some smaller cell and the first thing with which I will start will be of course that cell and here I have all the parts for making this cell and only for example here you can see this size comparison so this one is a little bit smaller but the construction or the cell design of this new cell will be exactly the same like this one. The only change between these two cells will be in the size and also that this new cell will be able to use some ion exchange membrane. And now I will just start with the assembling of this cell. So first I put four screws that these four screws will hold everything in place. Then I will start with the first gasket which is in my case some neoprene rubber. Then here I have some copper current collector and because I use copper for this reason I also need to protect this copper and this copper I will protect with this conductive HDP but in your case if you don't have this conductive HDP you can also use uh, something different but it's good if uh, this material is some carbon based material so any graphite plate or graph foil will also work really great. Uh, now on the top I will put the first reactor plate like so. This hole over here I will fill with graphitic carbon felt. Not activated carbon felt but graphitic carbon felt. So this graphitic carbon felt have really really high conductivity and this is also really important for this uh, vanadium redox flow battery so I put two pieces so I will put another gasket so then I will put this ion exchange membrane Another gasket.
now that cell is ready and now I can put all the battery parts together and for this reason I also print this platform this platform will hold everything in place the electrolyte tank, the pumps and also the cell Okay, I'm almost done. Uh, now what I need to do is I need to add some electrolyte into these two electrolyte tanks. And here I have my vanadium electrolyte. Uh, this electrolyte is made from uh, vanadium pentaoxide and sulfuric acid. First I mix uh, the sulfuric acid with vanadium pentaoxide and then I add some water And now I also need to fill that cell with the electrolyte. So for this reason I will run the pumps. So the battery right now is completed. Now what I need to do is to charge the battery. So I will start the pumps that I will get some electrolyte flow and I will also connect this cell to my power supply uh, to charge up the battery. And now I will actually charge that cell for some time. I will also make some clean uh, background with some paper okay this will be great so I think is ready 
And now I will start the pumps and I will also start with the charging. That's all. Now the battery is charging for a little bit more than one hour, uh, it's still not fully charged but anyway I will disconnect the battery from my power supply to see if the battery will run some loads. Uh, for now I will also disconnect, I mean turn off uh, the pumps but please remember that the Vanadium Redox flow battery needs some constant flow of the electrolyte. And also what is also really important by this battery is that the capacity of the battery is depending on the amount and also on the concentration of the electrolyte. So more electrolyte you have and more concentrated is the electrolyte, more capacity you will get out from the battery. And like you see right now at this moment, so the battery is in this charged state which you can see by the color of the electrolytes. So this positive uh, electrolyte have this yellow color which is the oxidation stage of V5. And the negative, uh, negative electrolyte have this purple color which is the oxidation stage of V2. But when the battery is discharged, then the positive electrolyte will turn into blue color, which is the oxidation stage of V4. And the negative electrolyte will turn into green color, which means that the oxidation stage will be V2. So really, really nice battery. And let's see if this battery will run some loads. Uh, so because uh, the cell voltage of Vanadium Redox flow battery is uh, from 1.5 to 1.6 volts, for this reason I need to have this uh, voltage booster to run this white LED. And yeah, so the battery don't have any problems to run this LED. Let's see what will be with this motor. Oops, wrong cables. Yeah, also running this little motor is not a problem. But I will also turn on uh, the pumps because the battery needs some constant flow of the electrolyte. So this was my little project about this Vanadium Redox Flow battery. 
So I'm really, really happy with the entire project and I'm also really happy with this uh, battery. Thank you.